guys, it's Chloe. After years of encouragement from my friends, I've finally been sucked into idle hell. I've watched all four Love Live series, did a casual cosplay from it, and have a good chunk of the music playing on repeat. But I've had a ton of questions about the series throughout each viewing, some of them leading to today's topic, things I want to see in future Love Live seasons. Some of these may come up in Ijigasaki or Superstar, since the former is currently airing and the latter starts airing again in July. But we shall see. Some of these might have already come up in the mobile games, but I don't play those, so whatever. Anyway, first things first. Are boys allowed to compete at Love Live? We don't see any since all the main groups are female-fronted, but there's no mention of them, so that doesn't mean they can't enter. Even if they aren't the main group or the rival group, it'd be interesting to see a male idol group in the mix. On the other side of that coin, while we haven't seen this yet either, solo idols are allowed to compete at Love Live. The rule is just one entry per school. This would most likely happen in Ijigasaki since they're all solo idols, but we've already seen three groups compete at Love Live together. I want to see someone enter on their own to see how their journey and experience would compare to a group's. Bonus point if that character isn't actually a good singer. This doesn't bother me so much in Superstar because they do go to a music school, but with Muse and Aqua, I kept wondering, what are the odds that all nine of these girls would just so happen to have amazing singing voices, when maybe one or two of them at most have any musical background prior to the show? Suspension of disbelief is badly needed here, people. Normally the girls have to learn how to dance, but I want to see at least one character who cannot sing and how they deal with that. Even if it's only for an episode, I think it'd be really funny and a great twist of the usual Love Live formula. Now for actual plot elements. First, seeing Nijigasaki and Superstar running almost at the same time makes me really want a crossover between the two. It can be a single episode, a two-parter, a movie, anything. Either Liela can perform at the school idol festival, or the two groups can compete against each other at Love Live. Hold a fan vote to decide which group, if either of them, wins. So far, all we've gotten are some loose connections between the original series and Sunshine, but I think it's time for some of our favorite school idols to finally meet in canon. And finally, I want to see the main group actually become professional idols after high school, just so we can see that it's possible. Arai starts pursuing this goal at the end of the original series, but Muse passes on the opportunity. I would expect this one from Superstar especially because, hello, it's in the title of the show. At the very least, show one character who succeeds in the music industry, even if the group doesn't last and that person isn't exactly an idol. My money's on Kanan. She deserves it. I'm rooting for her. And that's all of them. Nothing too off-brand, but unique twists to spice things up before the formula can get too stale. But feel free to comment below with what you'd like to see in a future Love Live season or spin-off. If you enjoyed this video, the like and subscribe buttons are right there. Don't forget to tap that notification bell. Let me know if you'd like to see more Love Live content on here. I am planning to do a tier list at some point, probably either for songs or outfits but just from the anime because the games are a whole other can of worms. Anyway, tune in next time for a new episode of Con Chronicles, where I'll be revisiting Megacon Orlando after a two-year skip and celebrating my birthday. See you then!